Hello, my name is John Demchenko, and welcome to my presentation for the Saskatoon Virtual Maker Fair entitled Getting Started with Electronic Music. I started electronic music as a hobby about 10 years ago after watching some demos about what could be done with music software. I am still learning and improving as I go. Some of the things I enjoy are creating musical stories and helping other people that are interested in electronic music get started and hearing about their musical journey. Some of the benefits of learning computer-based music composition are exposure to many music styles and instruments, a sense of project planning and goal setting as you make more complex music creations, and also you can make connections with fantastic people that have similar interests as you. More advanced projects can be used for computer games, movie soundtracks and trailers, television shows, commercials, and documentaries. In more recent times, many musicians have had to create and collaborate online. Working with electronic music is a great tool in this process. Some examples of the music categories I currently compose in are electronic dance music or EDM, instrumental, orchestral cinematic soundtracks, and synthwave. In my upcoming how-to series, I will show you how to create basic songs in some of these genres. It might not be as difficult as you thought it is just to get started. You can get started on electronic music at pretty much any age old enough to use a basic computer or even a smartphone and free software. If you don't really know much about music theory or how to play an instrument, don't worry. With the technology available today, you can make pretty much any kind of music you like using virtual instruments. Electronic music might be an option for people unable to afford very expensive instruments and lessons to start. Most software available will allow you to edit your work and add or change things as you like so that you don't have to get it right the first time. My tip for beginners is to start off small with the basics. You can learn and practice at your own pace. There are plenty of free resources to help you get going. If you're getting more serious about electronic music, there are many fine online courses available and you can expand your equipment and music libraries over time to suit your needs. Here are just a few examples of some items available to improve your studio. I have a social media presence as Allegorical Shadows on Facebook, SoundCloud, Vimeo and YouTube. Up next we'll have a listen to one of the projects I'll be demonstrating in my How To series.